Each person involved in a clinical trial has an important role to play. To understand each role and its purpose, we can use the analogy of a sports team. Study participants are the players on the team. Without them, clinical trials cannot be conducted. Study participants may be people who are living with and managing a medical condition. They may also be healthy volunteers. Friends and family are the fans. They can help ask questions and weigh the pros and cons of clinical trial participation. They may provide assistance and transportation support during the trial. The study doctor is the head coach. He or she organizes the study, directs the team, and reviews the data. The head coach follows a playbook, the study protocol, which has instructions for how the study will be conducted, and she or he works closely with other coaching staff, such as the study coordinator, study nurse, and other staff who handle day-to-day -day clinical trial activities. Clinical research professionals from pharmaceutical companies, government agencies, foundations, and academic medical centers are the team owners. They provide funding for clinical trials, select and hire the study doctors and study staff, communicate with regulatory agencies, and monitor the progress of the clinical trial. They follow a rule book to design and conduct clinical trials. Sometimes researchers need to add special team members when conducting a clinical trial. These special members might include a patient navigator who helps study volunteers with their appointments and visits, or a health professional who visits the study volunteer's home to conduct an interview or perform a clinical trial procedure. Ethical review boards and regulatory agencies are the referees. They help protect study participants by confirming that researchers follow the rules and that clinical trials are conducted safely and ethically. Regulatory agencies such as the Food and Drug Administration in the United States and the European Medicines Agency in the European Union provide guidelines, conduct inspections, and review study data. These are the agencies that ultimately decide whether a new treatment is safe and effective for doctors to prescribe. It takes all members of the team working together to ensure that a clinical trial is conducted well and that the results can be analyzed and shared to advance science and patient care. What are some of the ways that clinical trials are changing during the COVID-19 pandemic? There's additional communication with participants, particularly about safety precautions in place to protect everyone involved. Many research teams are conducting trials partially or completely remotely to limit travel to clinical research centers. Remote trials may be more convenient for study volunteers and they reduce the risk of transmission of the coronavirus. For remote clinical trials, research teams are also using new approaches to stay in touch with study volunteers and to monitor their health. How are research teams communicating with and helping child participants during the pandemic? Many teams are using video communications and telemedicine visits. They are reaching out through emails and text messages and communicating with participants through online portals. Smartphones and mobile apps are also being used for visit reminders and for sharing trial-specific information. What is the role of my regular doctor and will she or he receive updates on my progress during the clinical trial? It's important to let your primary care doctor know if you're participating in a clinical trial. Your doctor can help make sure that medications or treatments you're taking are okay to take with the investigational treatment. Talk to the research team about the best way to share information about your progress in the clinical trial with your doctor. You may be asked if you'd like to share your results with your doctor, but this is completely up to you. Are there any resources to help me before and during my participation in a clinical trial? CISGRIP and disease advocacy groups provide helpful information on their websites. Many clinical research sites also work with patient ambassadors, liaisons, and navigators. These people help provide community education, health screenings, and assistance to clinical trial participants and their families. You can ask the research team if they can connect you with a patient navigator or other useful resources.